Hi everybody, welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. So Steve Bruce has admitted today that we are very close to signing Jeff Hendrick and I'm going to be jumping on the computer to take a look at his, some of his goals and his stats from the season that's just happened. Right, before we look at goals, let's break it down his stats for the 1920 season. 24 appearances for Burnley, a lot of minutes there. Successful tackles, 18. Tackle success, just 47%. So it's just short of one of two. Interceptions is fairly high. That looks good. Successful dribbles, 22. The success of his dribbles up, 47%. I know when you compare that to our best player, Alan St. Maximum's in the high 70s. That's not great. His pass accuracy, 76%. Now, with the best passers in the Premier League, even just to get in the top 10 passers, you've got to be above 89% just for being the top 10. So Hendrick's a little bit off that. 30 crosses, which is fairly high. 14 chances created. 2 assists. And 2 goals. So what I would describe Hendrick looking at those stats is you would probably call him a solid player. Right, so now we're going to take a look at the goals. And this one was scored against Everton, put Burnley 1-0 up. I've highlighted him here on the edge of the box. He's free. Everton players aren't even looking at Hendrick. They mustn't think that he's a threat. The ball comes down to him. It's a great finish with the side of his foot to put Burnley 1-0 up. But the reason why I'm highlighting that because it happens again against Chelsea, which we'll look in a moment. Now, this one against Brighton. I've highlighted Hendrik here. He's picked the ball up into certain midfield to get past a couple of these players. And then he feeds it. But what I want you to look at here is try not look at the ball. Just watch Hendrik's run. What does this remind you of? If he can bring this more into his game. This is what Lampard does. Lampard scored goals for fun. And as you'll see, it's a fantastic finish. Bottom corner as we slow it right down in the 90th minute. Now this one's against Chelsea I was referring to. The corner comes in. Look again. All the Chelsea players have highlighted. But look where Hendrick is. He's free yet again. So he's got the awareness to hover around the box. In case something comes back to him. What a finish this is. Look at that. Unbelievable technique. Brilliant. Now this one, yes, I know it's for Ireland and it's against lower opposition. But again, I've highlighted him. And look where he's pictured here at the start of the play. And he's thinking, well, I'm going to get forward. Again, quite similar. I think he needs to bring more into this in his game. I've highlighted him again because he's on the edge of the box. He slots a bottom corner to put Ireland 1-0 up. There you go, lovely finish. And then the last one is against Fulham where they equalised in the ninth minute. I've highlighted Hendrick because he, he switched on when Burnley nicked the ball back. So we'll fast forward it. Burnley now have possession. He's realised, well, wait a minute, I could create a three versus two here. So Aaron Lennon's on the ball. Highlight Hendrick. Hendrick's running. Lennon's, Lennon's passed it. I don't think it means to get Hendrick. But Hendrick has now found himself in the box. Oh, one on one against the defender. He probably should do a lot better, in my opinion, on, on this situation. I think he's a little bit fortunate that the ball does come back to him. But he blasts it in the back of the net. Right then, so let me know what you think of Jeff Hendrick. Are you happy that we're not signing Nabil Bentaleb? Because Bruce has admitted to Keith Downey on a video conference call today that the likelihood of signing Nabil is out the window now. So I guess that's probably a positive because let's face it, Nabil Bentaleb has not been good for us on his loan spell. So you're saving yourself 9 million, reported ridiculous wage of over 80k, but you're bringing in somebody who's free, who's very much a hard working midfielder. Is it a good thing? And of course, he also admitted, Steve Bruce, that Matty Longstaff is very, very close to signing a contract extension. We'll have a video over the weekend or over Monday, whenever it is announced here on Newcastle Fans TV. And don't forget, if you want to check out our membership, which is in the bottom here, where it says join, you'll get a lot more exclusive stuff. And anything that, you, nice, anything that you say that's nice in the room, you can get all of this stuff from our sponsors, Amazon, which is also in the link in the description below. Have a good weekend, everyone. Ta-da. Bye-bye.